It was born in Cold War, forged in Europe and adopted by India over five decades ago. The L-70 anti-aircraft gun, first fielded in the 1950s, might seem like a relic from bygone era. So why is the Indian Army still using it in 2025? The answer lies in reliability, upgrades and adaptability. Despite its age, the Swedish origin Bofors L-70 has been heavily modernized by Bharat Electronics Limited to meet needs of today's dynamic battlefield. The upgraded version includes electro-optical fire control systems, automated target tracking, digital displays and thermal imaging. What was once a manually operated gun is now part of a semi-automated air defense ecosystem that is Akash Teeth. And it has proven its worth against one of the 21st century's newest threat, that is drones. In the recent trials and exercises, and also in Operation Sindhur, the L-70 has successfully taken down low-cost UAVs, giving it a new lease of life. Even more crucially, the L-70 has been integrated into India's Akash Teer Automated Air Defense Network, making it a node in digitally controlled web of sensors and shooters. From the icy heights of Himalayas to desert sands of Rajasthan, the L-70's mobility, ruggedness and quick setup time makes it a frontline asset, especially in the region where newer systems haven't been fully deployed. Yes, India is inducting next-gen weapons, laser-based weapons, smarter missiles and high-power radars. But until those are battlefield ready in large numbers, L-70 continues to hold the line. Outdated? Not quite. The L-70 is one of those rare systems where old steel meets new circuits. It may not make headlines for the future, but it is still securing the present. The modern L-70 gun which the Indian Army is using today is a totally different gun. Uh, it has been modified heavily. Firstly, the rate of fire has been increased from 240 rounds per minute to 300 rounds per minute. Secondly, the hydraulic systems, uh, original hydraulic systems which were used to lay the guns in bearing and elevation have been totally replaced by Bharat Electronics and now they are uh, electronic uh, laying systems. Plus, uh, the old uh, optical site has been replaced by a complete gamut of sensors which includes the integrated fire control system, a thermal imager, a laser range finder and a daytime uh, video camera. Now this uh, complete uh, ray, uh, set of sensors uh, gave the operator uh, tremendous ease in uh, acquiring, tracking and engaging uh, low-flying uh, targets and smaller targets like drones under any weather condition. 